So Canyon have just updated their Speedmax. The Speedmax is their time trial and triathlon bike, but I'm a little bit baffled as to why they've chosen to update the model that they have. In this video, we're gonna have a look at what those changes are. We're gonna talk through the Speedmax range. Feel free to let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below, because as I say, I'm not fully sure why they've done this. Now, full disclaimer, I am a massive Canyon fanboy. I do have a t-shirt. I have a Enduro Race and an Aero rim brake, and I have a Grizzle disc brake bike. I've bought all those bikes at full price from wherever I bought them from, two of them new, one of them used. So I'm a fan of the brand, but that is it. I'm not sponsored anyway. This video is in no way come from Canyon, if that isn't already obvious. So Canyon have three models within their range, and this is pretty similar across most of their range. They have the CF, the CF SLX, and the CFR. I know that in other models of bikes, there are aluminum versions as well, but in the Speedmax, they only come in carbon, and they are the three models within it. Now the CF is their entry-level model with pro features. The CF SLX is highly customizable for world-class performance performance and the Speedmax CFR is our long distance world record holder. Now this shows you a little bit more about them because they do look a little bit different as well. So this is the Speedmax CF. Now this picture is pre-updates. This doesn't reflect the changes that they've made, but it just says how, you know, this has an advanced integration and aerodynamics available at an unprecedented price point. This bike sets a new benchmark in its class and it starts from 3,849 British pounds. Above that is the Speedmax CF SLX. So this sits in the middle of the range. This states that it has maximum adjustability, innovative storage options, and multiple race engineered integrations for your fastest split ever from 8,099 pounds. And then at the top of the range, the Speedmax CFR, the best better, the most advanced tri-bike with a host of race-ready integrations designed for world champions, the next level. So the main parts are, the frame is different from the Speedmax CF, the CF SLX, and then the frame is the same in appearance from the SLX to the CFR, but slightly different in makeup, which I did actually have to speak to Canyon about, and I have an email from them which I'll come back to in a little while. So I said this picture doesn't represent what the bike currently looks like. The bike currently looks like this. And the updates to this model are all based around the front end. Now the front end, when the bike came previously, I mean, they have updated that, they haven't put the hydration on, but they have updated the extensions, etc. It's all centered around this front end and they've used learnings and findings and products from the higher end models. So from the CF SLX and from the CFR to make the front end more adjustable, but also more integrated and the big addition is the addition of the hydration unit. So you can fit 750 mil of fluid in the front end of that, whereas previously the CFSL did not have any hydration built into it. That was what was the main difference between that and the SLX and the CFR, other than them looking slightly different. The, the actual like function was that you couldn't have integrated hydration on the CFSL. Now, this is the bit that, I say it baffles me. I, I always thought that the entry level was there to make you buy the one above it and that everybody buys the one that's in the middle of the range. I think that's a quite a common decision for people. But I think this actually makes this bike really, really attractive, especially at the price point. So if we go to the top of the range, if you're looking for the all singing, all dancing, Speedmax CFR, top of the range, you've got built-in tool storage, you've got built-in hydration, nutrition top two storage. The Shimano versions are, are 10 and a half thousand pounds and the SRAM version is 11 and a half thousand pounds with different wheels granted. So that is crazy. That's a lot of money, but then it's a lot of bike. The middle of the range, Speedmax, so you're dropping down to Ultegra from Dura Ace and the Shimano version is £8,000. So that is £2,500 different. You're getting slightly lower spec wheels. You get the 1400 DT Swisses rather than the 1100. They're slightly heavier by about 70 grams. But other than that, the bike looks pretty much the same. Dropping down to the Speedmax CF, the frame is different if, based on what the readings are. It's not supposed to be as fast in the, their wind tunnel testing and so on. Whether it is or not in practice and how, by how much, who really knows? But just looking at the two visually, the SLX and the CFR looks more cool, doesn't it? The deeper tubes, deeper forks, like it looks more like a race bike. Now, what I was really struggling with was finding out the difference between the SLX and the CFR. When I've read all the 
tech specs, I couldn't actually see what it says about the frame in terms of the carbon layup. Now, years ago, when I was bought a couple of new canyons, the CFSL had a different carbon layup to the CFSLX, and the SLX was quoted as being lighter and stiffer and more compliant in the areas you want it. Basically, all the marketing buzzwords you can imagine, but it was essentially a better frame. I couldn't see that anywhere on this until the only part where I could see it was on, if I click on a bike, on both of them, and then go to uh, the, where is this? I'm not the geometry somewhere. Because this isn't live, isn't it? Components. And go to all components. It's this section here where it talks about the frame. So this is the bit that the CFR quotes that the Speedmax CF SLX does not, featuring ultra rare Torre M40X carbon fibers. So that's saying, right, this is, this is rare and this, the, there's some specific carbon fibers. And if we look on the SLX, it does not have that. I will just show you to, for complete transparency. It doesn't say that, but that is the only area on this where I could find any sort of written information about what the difference is between the two models. Now, I did get into the details of looking at how much the, the, you know, the weight difference is. So if we look at this, the Ultegra DI2 CFS LX is 9.42, and then the Dura Ace DI2 CF R is 9.1, but that's got a rotor chain set. Is that any difference? Let's go to the Shimano chain set one. It's 9.28, so we're talking, what, 140 grams? And the wheels on the CFR are about 70 grams lighter. It's got a different saddle. The group set is going to be lighter because it's Dura Ace. I was really struggling to find out is it actually lighter? Is it actually any better? So I emailed Canyon and now full props to Canyon. They came back to me within the live chat person didn't know the answer. So I've passed it on to somebody in the UK team. So thank you to Alex for responding to it. Uh, and Alex confirmed that the whole frame. So my question was, I've read this on the spec of the CFR. Where are, where is this, this, you know, this different carbon layup or different carbon fibers? Is it in one area? Is it all over the frame? What is it? Is it lighter or heavier? And what are the performance benefits? And um, I don't know if it's he or she, but Alex came back and said the whole frame has a different carbon layout. So that quote on the geometry of the CFR is throughout the whole frame, not just like on the bottom bracket or the headset or wherever. And then it's also stated that the performance is the same, but at a lighter weight compared to the CFSLX. I thought that was really interesting. What you see so many bike brands talk about is, oh, it's a higher grade of carbon and it's stiffer, so the power transfers better, so you're going to ride faster. Whether you actually do or not, who knows, but that claim hasn't been made here. It's just that the performance is the same, but at a lighter weight. So I guess what they're saying is if you ride up a hill, yes, it's gonna be faster. But I, but just looking at what the, those numbers are on the advert, it can't be that much lighter, can it? There were no numbers quoted there. I didn't go back and ask for specific details on how many grams lighter it is and so on. I, get, I know these people have got a job to do. They don't want some uh, fool like me asking them 50 million questions about a bike that I can't afford to buy. But there you go, that's the, that's the answer. Back to the matter at hand though, the Speedmax CF. Why is this the one that's been updated? I always thought the entry level bike was okay for your real like entry level, your first triathlon or your, uh, I don't know, you're doing it, using things on a budget and you're know, not doing many events or something like that. Putting the hydration on this now actually makes this a brilliant bike. That was the one thing that was lacking before. So you have hydration, you have tool storage, you have bottle mounts on the frame and you can also mount one behind the saddle via aftermarket means. You get a power meter as standard, like, I don't know what's not to like about this bike. I'd like a, a, an electric group set, and that one is a mechanical 105, and it's still five grand for ETAP AXS. But if you were to go to ETAP AXS on the SLX, it's 8,300, which is 3,000 pounds more. So we're talking nearly 50% more increase in cost. I don't know as if that is worth it for, I know the wheels are slightly different as well, but for what is probably a very similar bike. And that's what's baffling me. Why would they spend time and money and development making the, the bottom one better and bringing that line closer to the rest of the range? I'd be struggling to justify spending another 3,000 pounds from this on this CFSLX, and I'd be really struggling to justify spending two of that on the CFR. I just, 
I just, I just, I'm just unsure. I think uh, when um, when the rim brake model was popular, the Ultegra Di2 sat at around five thousand pounds retail, and that was the CFS LX. But that was the top of the range at the time. That is what this is. This is probably a better bike than than that was. So interesting. Maybe it's to do with how difficult these frames are to make. Perhaps the Speedmax CF frame is easier to make than the more complicated CFS LX. Maybe they're noticing trends in buying, the cost of living crisis and so on. Maybe that's affecting which models they're seeing people buy. So making the entry level more attractive means that they might be able to sell more of the bikes. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you again very soon.